Hi everyone, it's Linda. Um, I just wanted to show you this little mini album I made. Um, I'm going to include some uh, photographs of how you actually make the album on my blog, so please visit www.papertracer.blogspot.com. I'll leave a link under the video in YouTube um, so that you can see the step by step of how to actually make the, the book. It's really easy, but it's just it's a bit dull to watch on video, so I didn't want to bore you. Uh, so this is the album. Uh, everything in here except for the Hambly overlays and a bit of vellum I think is from um, a Studio Calico kit from several months ago. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure the name of it, but I'll try and find out. So here it is. Um, for the uh, the lock as such, um, I've punched two holes in the back of the in the back piece of um, in the back cover, um, threaded the ribbon through, and then just wound it through and fed it up through the underside um, through another hole that I punched here with my crocodile, um, and it works really well. It sort of holds it together. It has a it's functional, but it's still pretty. So all you do is pull the ribbon out, um, and this is ribbon that I made myself. It's just crinkly ribbon. Um, it's like the seam binding ribbon you guys have in the States, but it's a bit different. So I'm going to try and buy some of the one from USA. Um, thickers are all from the kit. Um, it's uh, American Craft Sunrise for the really bright green one. Um, and Green Graph for this one. This is a sassafras. The Star is a Jenny Bolan one that came in the kit too that I just used some Jenny Bolan yellow ink on. Stapled it on with a little stapler. Using the Hero Arts um, lower, basic lowercase uh, stamps, which I really love to do a little two grand because this is going to be like a brag book for my mum in law. Um, and I'll just run you through the pages. I hope you can see it without the light flicking on it. Uh, this is a stamp from the kit, little b. Um, and I just basically just printed these out, you know, on my home computer and, and um, on my home printer. Um, and I added the scene, like, I love the way Ali Edwards always puts their initial of her kids in with the photos. I think it's a really sweet touch. So, tree, because Izzy's putting the um, star on the tree. Um, and I wanted to replicate the idea of the star. So I've used a star from the Jenny Bowl, and which are just the plain chipboard ones, like the uncovered chipboard. Um, but I've added um, some fab the fabric over the top, and I've just stuck it down with um, some glue dots, a Hambly overlay that I just cut down to size, some a nice 4 by 6 of Izzy, um, and this is a part of a doily you'll be able to see later in the book. Um, this is a bit of journaling about Isabella, um, I think it's nice to have it sort of mirroring. This a flower is one of the ones that I made just after I made this card a few last week. Um, I went ahead and made a couple of them at the same time. I love that pink one. And I actually cut this one dimensional, so I'll be using those for something soon. But I thought it was really nice, and it made the browns on this page look a bit less brown and a bit more feminine. I think it sort of tied it in a bit better. Um, I struggle with orange, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I never know how to use it properly. Some little pictures, um, and I just made this die cut that came in the kit into a little pocket. You just adhere the three sides. Um, a piece of vellum just from your local office supply store with some thickers and I love the way it mutes the tone, the colouring of the page behind it. Um, a little note to my mum-in-law saying what the album's for and Merry Christmas. Um, a handmade journaling tag using the Lawn Fawn basic, uh, sorry, schoolhouse backgrounds um, lines. Hero Arts Bicycle, Hero Arts and lawn fawn <laughs> and the figures. Um, some more pages. Very simple. I didn't want it to be overwhelming. I and I like that there's pages that with nothing on them too. Hero Arts, a little bit about um, Charlotte to match the cutie picture. This is a fabric that I've just you know you just fold it and bend it and stick it and go down. Um, a picture of Charlotte watching TV. This is hysterical to me because she's so rarely um, calm and quiet. She's such a crazy kid. Um, a really cute picture of the two of them sitting next to each other holding hands watching TV um, from several months ago. And I just did the the, uh, the frame in uh, Photoshop so it was really easy to do. Um, an Ormolu button. And this is the other part of that doily. And I like it off, I like it off center. If you put the doily in and it's centered, like the, the um, 
you fold it down the center so there's half exactly half and exactly half it looks weird um, I find it looks better if you have a big piece and then a little one and I like the way this sort of just looks like a little tail uh, next page is a nice blank one which I like and I think you need blank pages in albums as you'll see from my December daily just a little tag just saying Christmas 2011 and I might write something on the back I'm not sure I don't want it to be too too layered because my mother-in-law's a little bit older but I want it to be interactive that's why I like envelopes and things like that a bit more of the wood grain and I also liked that the wood grain and a lot of these papers are really retro um, and I tried to make the pictures look quite retro too um, using Instagram and stuff like that on my phone Another doily. This could be a journaling card or another place for photos, more real estate. Um, but I actually quite like it just as it is. And then the last page is just a picture I took for my December daily, the baubles. I used an Ali Edwards overlay, and then I print, and I, but I made it square this time instead of the rectangle. Um, again, just printed all these photos out on my home printer, and that's it. It's really simple, very easy to do. Um, the album construction, I guess you could say, like the actual putting the album together, took me about 20 minutes. You cut your paper down, you poke some holes in the end, and you either hand thread, which is what I did here, um, or you can machine stitch, which is really, 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 really easy. Um, just make sure you use a different needle to the one you use when you stitch material, because it'll blunt it. Um, and I would have done um, machine stitching, but my machine died. <laughs> um, so I had to hand stitch, and I just used some really, some um, baker's twine. No, some some twine uh, from Paper Tree Ink, so that it was nice and sturdy. You could use anything. You could use ribbon if you wanted to. If you wanted to use your crocodile to make bigger holes, and then thread actual ribbon through, that would look really beautiful. Um, so that's it. I've made a couple of mini albums with this sort of basic kind of stitchy style um, um, binding and I really like them. I think they're really homemade looking and I think it's a really nice gift to give anyone. Um, finishing the inserts, putting the pictures in um, and embellishing it um, as little as I did probably only took me oh, maybe two hours but I, but I move slowly. I, I, I work very slowly because I think it through too much. <laughs> so you could get this whole project done in a night really easily. Just don't overthink it. Choose your papers, cut them up, stitch them together and have fun with it. So I hope that you have a go. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. Um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Um, thanks so much for watching and Merry Christmas.